This is the Boeing 737 MAX 9, a plane with a history of innovation, ambition, and tragedy. Work on the 737 MAX series began around 2011, with Boeing officially announcing the program in August of that year. The MAX 9 was designed to compete directly with Airbus's A321neo, providing a more fuel-efficient and longer-range option in the narrow-body single-aisle market. But the 737 MAX series faced a significant setback with two fatal crashes involving the MAX 8 model, which led to the worldwide grounding of all 737 MAX aircraft, including the MAX 9. The main point of contention was the MCAS, a flight control system implicated in both crashes. Boeing undertook a comprehensive review and modification of the MCAS and other systems, working closely with regulatory bodies. After rigorous testing and scrutiny, the FAA lifted the grounding order in November 2020. But is it really a safe aircraft now? Stay with us till the end of the video, because here is everything you need to know about the Boeing 737 MAX 9. Stepping inside, starting with the cabin dimensions, the MAX 9 boasts a cabin width of 11 feet 7 inches or 3.53 meters and an overall length of 138 feet or 42 meters, allowing for a spacious feel. Configurations can differ among airlines, but a typical layout includes a two-class system with both economy, business, and first-class seating. A 3-3 configuration in the economy class is standard, while a 2-2 setup is usually reserved for the premium seats. One of the good features of this aircraft is its noise and vibration control. The utilization of advanced soundproofing materials and vibration dampeners significantly lowers ambient noise levels. While the MAX 9 is not the quietest bird in the sky, it does offer a noticeable improvement over its predecessors. The cabin altitude at cruising level is maintained at a relatively low 6,500 feet or 2,000 meters, which helps in reducing passenger fatigue over long journeys. The air circulation system utilizes HEPA filters to eliminate airborne particles, and the fresh air exchange rate is commendable, making long-haul flights more tolerable. Seat comfort and pitch play a crucial role in the passenger experience. The typical seat pitch is around 30 to 32 inches or 75 to 80 centimeters, with a width of about 17 inches or 43 centimeters. While the seat dimensions are fairly standard, the ergonomic design of the seats, with adjustable headrests and better cushioning, adds a touch of comfort. The seat recline feature further enhances passenger comfort, allowing for a more relaxed posture during the flight. In premium classes, you can expect seats that are 21 inches or 53 centimeters wide with a pitch ranging from 37 to 41 inches or 94 to 104 centimeters. The seats are designed to offer improved cushioning and greater ergonomic support. Talking about lighting, the use of LEDs not only saves energy, but also creates a soothing ambience. The different phases of flight are accompanied by corresponding lighting moods, which is a subtle but effective way of enhancing the in-flight experience. The MAX 9 is equipped with state-of-the-art in-flight entertainment systems. While the in-flight entertainment systems are often determined by the operating airline, the cabin's design is optimized to accommodate a variety of configurations. Typical features include touchscreen monitors, USB ports, and power outlets for personal devices. Wi-Fi connectivity is often available, although its speed and reliability can vary. The touchscreen monitors are responsive and offer a wide range of entertainment options, including movies, music, and games. The MAX 9 introduces the Space Bins, designed to increase storage capacity. These bins can accommodate up to six standard-sized carry-on bags, two more than previous bin designs. Their lower edge is also more accessible, improving the ease of loading and unloading. Lastly, the lavatories maintain a standard of functionality over spaciousness. They incorporate touchless faucets and automated waste flaps, minimizing contact points. However, the trade-off for maximizing seat space is that these lavatories are rather compact, which can be challenging for passengers with reduced mobility. Now let's step into the cockpit. The dimensions are generally consistent with those found in the Boeing 737 series, designed to fit two pilots comfortably, with a width of roughly 11 feet 7 inches or 3.53 meters. 
the space offers enough room to operate without feeling cramped. The cockpit features large format display screens, usually measuring 15.1 inches diagonally. These high-resolution displays are more extensive than previous iterations and offer pilots a clearer view of key flight information. They are designed to be easily configurable to show navigation, weather radar, and other data as required. The cornerstone of the cockpit is the Boeing-designed Advanced Onboard Network System. This avionics suite is a comprehensive package featuring dual flight management systems, traffic collision avoidance system, and an advanced weather radar system capable of identifying turbulence zones. The avionics suite also boasts a Category 3 instrument landing system for low visibility conditions, allowing for autoland capabilities under more challenging weather scenarios. The MAX 9 also incorporates fly-by-wire technology for the spoiler system, offering a higher level of control and responsiveness. While it's not a full fly-by-wire system, it's a significant step toward modernizing the flight control systems within the 737 lineup. Much attention has been given to the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, especially in light of the scrutiny following the aircraft's grounding. The updated MCAS is designed to offer robust stall prevention capabilities, while also giving pilots greater command and more straightforward override options. The system has undergone rigorous testing and updates to ensure its reliability and safety. The autopilot system is intuitive and user-friendly, offering various modes for altitude capture, vertical speed, and heading select. The autothrottle system aids in maintaining airspeed and can be especially helpful during takeoff and landing, or while navigating through complex air traffic scenarios. The heads-up display is another feature that sets this cockpit apart. Projecting critical flight data onto a transparent screen situated in the pilot's line of sight, the HUD allows pilots to maintain situational awareness without having to look down at the instrument panel continually. Integrated EFBs on the side console offer easy access to charts, manuals, and other necessary documentation, eliminating the need for physical paperwork and making the pilot's life considerably easier. New to the Mac series is the option for touchscreen controls for the navigation display, improving ease of use. However, traditional knobs and buttons are also present, allowing for manual control, offering a blend of the new and the familiar. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Boeing 737 MAX 9 is powered by two CFM International Leap 1B engines, each producing up to 28,000 pounds of thrust Incorporating the latest advances in aerodynamics, materials, and systems, these engines offer a 15% reduction in fuel consumption compared to their predecessors. They feature a fan diameter of 70 inches, or 1.75 meters, and employ 18 carbon fiber composite fan blades, leading to both weight reduction and aerodynamic efficiency. The aircraft requires 8,500 feet or 2,600 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 3,300 feet or 1,000 meters, a maximum cruising altitude of 41,000 feet or 12,500 meters, and a maximum cruise speed of Mach 0 0.79 or 453 knots. The plane has a maximum range of 3,300 nautical miles, which is 3,800 miles or 6,100 kilometers, a range extension that has been achieved through aerodynamic improvements and the engine's fuel efficiency, making the MAX 9 suitable for transcontinental routes and opening up new market opportunities for airlines. The aircraft has a minimum landing distance of 5,500 feet or 1,700 meters with a maximum net payload of 46,000 pounds or 21,000 kilograms. The aircraft employs state-of-the-art winglets and flaps, allowing for a more controlled descent and landing. The wheel brakes are equally sophisticated, employing carbon braking systems that are both lightweight and highly effective in bringing the aircraft to a stop. The base purchase price for a new Boeing 737 MAX 9 is $130 million before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.